Well, hello. Welcome to the second Late Break Show Live on Tour. I'm carrying around um, a tin full of car keys, not sweets. And uh, we've got a bit of everything. We're here in Leicestershire. Um, it's, we've organized it in five weeks, four weeks. And the whole idea of the show is to bring the playlists to life of the YouTube channel. So in other words, you've got brand new stuff around here. We've got, we've got new cars in the middle, a lot of which are electric. We've got classics, we've got modified classics like the 250 GTO Resto Mod, like this Auto Union converted to EV with Nissan Leaf running gear. We've got my project cars, we've got projects of the people over there, uh, we've got the live stage, which I've just walked off, which Ed China will be on there as our idle chat victim. And myself and Richard Porter, aka Sniff Petrol, are doing a, uh, a live car pub quiz. And uh, we're also going to be doing a bit of a Q&A. And the stage is actually powered by an electric car. Lots going on. It's quite chaotic. I've got BO already. The show hasn't even started. It hasn't even opened yet. So we're still getting cars in. Oh, we've got barn finds and car caves, and coffee, and toilets, yeah. Okay, there you go. There's the, uh, there's the Nissan Relief, which is the sort of emergency prototype that Nissan did so it can drive into a disaster zone and act as a power source. We're powering our stage with it because the petrol generator is a bit loud, a bit clunky. Uh, there's Ed China's outspan orange car. But really the idea of, like I said before, the idea of the Late Break Show Live is, to, is variety. Look, we have a brand new Mercedes Actros truck edition two, which apparently is like the black series of Mercedes trucks. We've got everything from that. New 911, 964, and there's a couple of other old 911s about. Lots of EVs, because I'd say half of my channel is EV content. And this is also a chance for people who maybe have kept EVs at arm's length, they're not too sure, to just have a, a mooch, have a look. See what they think. There's a Honda E there, look, with its old brother. Um, we've, got, we've, got, we've got Clarkson's old Mercedes CLK um, Black Series. We've got the Ferrari 250 GTO Resto mod. I've got to come over here, look. Come over here. Follow me. Okay, so here's a, here's a mix for you. New Mustang. Original Morgan three-wheeler, which is brilliant. Brilliant. Lancia. Aston. Hi. Hi. Got a matching chair with the car. That's good. My friend Bryn's Drift Volvo. That's kind of, that's, that's your contrast. That's your contrast at the Late Break Show Live. Big thanks to Shamans for uh, lending us a brand new JCB Fast Track. Odd Autos bringing their shortened Beetle, which is just a hell of a piece of work. So there's a bit of a marriage between sort of custom and modified cars, brand new stuff, electric classic cars, and just some new interesting cars. Talking of which, look at the BMW. Oh, look at it. 728. So, oh yeah, there's the vegetable oil um, turbo diesel hot rod that we had on the show that was built for a uh, thousand quid. Next to the Tolman Lotus Sunbeam, which is a stunning car. I'm walking around with a, a tin of quality streets, but it's not. I'm not offering people sweets, and I'm not. Uh, and it's full of keys to keep all the cars safe that we've we've got on display, borrowed. For, so, unfortunately, it makes me look like either a swinger or a paedophile. I'm neither of those things. Just so you know. Over there we've got the electric 2CV, which was um, on a recent episode of the show. We've got uh, my friend, thanks to my friend Matt, who's brought the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am look. I mean, I mean, look at look at these, just these, just these four. 
the Sunbeam, the Supra, the Plymouth Cuda 440, my friend Pete Wiseman. He's the guy that set up the carb on my Dodge Charger. Lovely guy. The, the Project Heaven turbo diesel veg oil hot rod. Smokey. Bandit. Look. And an electric classic mini. This is one of the other things that I'm always keen to try and get to the Late Break show live for people to see in person, is classic cars converted to EV. They are a bit divisive, they're not for everybody, but I love seeing the way that they're executed, I love seeing the cars that people have. What on earth is that? It's a cycle car. Look at that. Look at that for a unicorn. MGSV. Look at that. Quality Phoenix, better than mine. <laughs> Just car keys, sadly. Bit of a letdown. Williams Clio. The cameraman Matty's Honda Element Japanese import. Look. That's the thing. It's, there's, it's sheer variety. The LB STR. The list of Bell Stratos. Look at it. Thanks to Jim for bringing this one. This is an incredible car. Just look at this. It's a stunning piece of work. So we've got a tank, uh, which is really nice. And we've got a Citroen SM, which is really cool. But here, this is the part of the show where obviously the, the, the inner bit, I kind of try and organize and pull favors in from manufacturers and people that I know. This bit is the projects of the people section, which we started on the YouTube channel during lockdown. People to share a couple of minutes on their vehicle, their project, what, what they've got, what they've done to it, why they like it, why it does things for them. And we've actually been overrun with display cars this time. We've, we've got another field behind, which we'll go to in a second, where we've categorized them a bit. But look at the eclectic mix. Everything from turbo brick Volvos, Japanese imports, XR2. It's probably worth about 30 grand right now. Um, Pontiac Firebird, little K, K, K cars. I just love this mix. That's what I like about it. And we've got, there's, there's loads more, there's loads. We, we can't show them all, but we'll, we'll put as many as we can in there. I wanted to do this at the first show as well. So the inner bit with all the freshly launched cars, I've managed to get finally a DeLorean parked next to a Hyundai Ionic 5. Right. Because I think there's elements of that car in that car. And it's my show and I can do it if I want. But we'll run round here because the barn finds are here. This is one of my personal favorite parts of the, the live show because I love the barn finds, I can't resist it. So what we've got here is some of the cars that I've gone and seen and, and filmed with. We've got the Rover, if you remember the Rover SD1 Vitesse of Oliver's. Well, since we pulled it out of the garage, this car has since been recommissioned and it's been MOT'd last week and it got driven here from the Liverpool area by Oliver at five o'clock this morning. Fantastic. And he's just sold it to a guy who is also an EV owner. So uh, the guy who's bought it drives a Tesla by day and is driving the V8 at the weekend. I like his style. Here's the rare but nobody cares Allegro SS. Very rare Allegro. There's only five left in the world. There's two left on the road actually functioning. This is from my friend Tim. If you remember the very early days of, of the, the YouTube channel, we dug this out and it was a surprising hit amongst people. We've kept it as it was, as it was found. But down here, this is, this is, this is great. So this is the barn find, but not barn find, actually hedge find. Jensen Interceptor owned by a friend of mine called Kieran. He found this car in a hedge in Ireland. And it was John Bonham, the drummer from Led Zeppelin's first Jensen Interceptor. And it was modified to have extra uh, louder audio equipment put in it at the time. It's knackered, but it is gonna live again. And we wanted to put it on display with a little bit of foliage. Why not? Now we've got another section, another playlist of the YouTube channel brought to life. We've got Richard Gill, who was at our first Late Break Show Live. He was our first car cave, um, who has a bit of a thing for Land Rover Defender um, motorhomes, and they're amazing inside. You've got to take a look in these. And he also has, if you remember his, 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 his um, car cave, 
He's got some fantastic supercars as well, really down to earth bloke. And he brought his spiker along because when's the next chance you're going to get to look at a spiker? They're a bit of a rare groove, especially right hand drive. And this is our next car cave, which you'll see very soon. We should have already filmed it, but we got, you know, a bit tied up with the show. Uh, owned by a guy called Paul, who's got an enormous amount of weird cars. And one of them is this BMW E36 M3 with a Corvette LS3 engine swap. This is going to be good. I'm still walking around with my biscuit tin full of car keys, but anyway, we're at the project car bit, my project car bit. So this is the bits of me and my, my wife, our own cars that make up quite a big chunk of the, of the show, of the channel. I dragged the Beetle here. We've got the Figaro, which passed its MOT recently. Yay! The, uh, the mid build still, Allegro V6 sleeper. A lot's going to happen to that in the next uh, couple of months. The Tokyo Taxi Nissan Cedric, which I've got my electric scooter in the back of. The Daily Driver uh, Family Jimny. The Dodge Charger, the, the, the four speed manual charger. And uh, there's a, my Aurenthetic 1970s electric motorbike on stage next to me. Right, I'm a little bit amazed that people are coming from quite far afield to, to the show. You, I think, are our longest distance travelled from Fort William. What's your name? Simon. Simon is from Fort William. He got on a plane last night and he came down. That's admirable. Well done. I'll give you a tote bag for that. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's not something I usually do. I don't throw that around lightly. So we come out of the main entrance into the second field. Uh, of course, you've got, got to bear with us with the Late Break Show live on tour events because we're still kind of finding our feet on how to do it and what works, what maybe doesn't work so well. But we've been inundated with display parking. And this is this bit, it's very interesting. I've hardly seen it because I've been talking to people and stuff, but I've been told that it's good fun. There's various sections here which people can display their car in different ways. You've got, um, one of them's called the Cheeky Sports select, uh, category. One of them's called um, uh, stuck in the 70s with you, acceptable in the 80s. So there's lots of cars, a real mashup. Mark 1 Mini, next to Maserati, Lotus, Toyota Alphard. Oh, look, Alpha 4C next to a 2CV van. There you go, that. That's what I always wanted. That's the sort of juxtaposition. Good few Toyota GR, Yaris's, Yari. Oh, Alpha Sud. So this is what, it's, just, it's really quite, it's actually quite touching for me because I, I just, you sort of have your hair down just trying to get the show done and make sure it's not a failure. You don't realise how many people will actually come. Uh, so it's lovely. And there's a bit of camaraderie here, look. A bit of jumpstart camaraderie going on. This is one of my favourite sections. This is the rare but nobody cares section. Love this section. There's a lot of cars out there which are very rare, but not many people give a flying you know what at. I, I, like, to, I like to think that I care. A bit like that Allegro SS, extremely rare, but most people don't seem to, to give it. So and that's what this area is, and there's an overspill over there. But then we can go back into the show this way, and there's a Polsky Fiat. I have one of those, a Malauk. What I hope is that people can come here and they think they're only into one or two or three types of cars or a certain type of car. And they might come away being a little bit inspired thinking, actually, I hadn't given that in a second a look and I, I quite like that. You know, look, we've got a UN spec Dacia Duster next to a Citroen SM. <laughs> UN Otsot. So if you've come to this event, thank you so much for coming and supporting. It means a lot. If you want to come to another Late Break Show live, just keep in touch uh, via the website, www.thelatebreakshow.com forward slash tour, and you'll know where we are going next. We'll try and do as many of these as we possibly can. I guess it all comes down to if people want to come and if people buy tickets. I hope you've enjoyed watching this.